I'm gonna say, this I'm gonna say. Um, sorry for the noise. Hold on. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I am back. I am back. I am back. Welcome back, guys. Why am I being so expressive and ridiculous? Welcome back to my channel, guys. I have been gone for mad long, I feel like. And then I think it's been like a month. That's long. All right, but today I decided I'm just gonna film, get ready with me, kind of chit chat. Um, and then I'll vlog a little bit because I'm going out to eat with my best friend. I'm going out to eat with my best friend, so yeah. Um, oh, so I already did moisturize, I already applied primer. And then now I'm just going to do, damn, I feel like I don't know how to do makeup. I haven't done my makeup in mad long. Fuck, I don't know where none of my shit is at. Oh, here we go. All right, so I'm going to do eyebrows. Of course, I'll just do eyebrows first. So, what's going on with everyone in life? How was everyone's Christmas? Are you excited for the new year? I don't know. I hope, I definitely hope that this next year is much better than this year. This year sucked. It sucked a lot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very um, grateful and blessed to still be alive. Of course, like, this year was very tragic in many ways, but I just think that this year was like, no, it just was a hard year and it just kind of sucked for most people. For me, it did. I don't know. It sucked really bad. Um, but yeah, so definitely I'm praying for a very um, fulfilling, successful, lucrative, very lucrative year for everyone, including myself. Um... What else is going on in life? Um, my birthday's next week. I turn 28. Wow. Um, I hope you guys could see what I'm doing. Like I still suck at freaking recording and making sure my camera is not being blocked by anything. There's a lot going on over here as well. Like this table is messy as hell. Um, But yeah, my birthday is next. Why did I do that? Just not just. What am I doing? Do I not know how to do my? Oh, and I didn't even sh I didn't even show you guys how my eyebrows look healed. So I have um a touch up appointment scheduled for in two weeks on the fourteenth. So oh. Fourteenth. Yeah, I think I have it scheduled for the 14th. So yeah, touch up to just make it a little bit more darker. Because you can see like it's darker obviously than how my eyebrows were before the microblading. But it's still like kind of light. So I'm going to get that touched up in two weeks. But yeah, my birthday is in exactly, is it exact? No, tomorrow makes exactly a week until my birthday. My birthday is January 7th. I'm have a corn. <laughs> You know, Capricorns are the best people in the world. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really have much, much to say. I don't have much going on in life right now. I'm just trying to finish off this year strong. We've been spending a lot of time talking to God and um, manifesting a lot of things for myself. That's what I've been using these past few weeks that I've been off YouTube and not like not posting. It's just, just kind of focusing on myself and getting my, my head right, getting my mind right, getting my soul right. <laughs> Sounds mad dramatic, but I'm being very serious. Um, yeah, just hoping that 2021 is just a good year, man. Like, I hope it's a good year for everyone close to me, my friends, my family, everyone. People I don't even like. I hope I wish the best for them. I don't like you, but I wish the best for you. 
Um, yeah. Today, I'm going, I found this, um, I don't know if I'm the only, no, I'm sure I'm not the only person, but I'm like addicted to TikTok. I don't like make videos or anything, although I low-key want to make videos just for fun, but I haven't, um, tried to make videos yet. I just literally lay in bed all day and watch videos, even at work. I know my manager be like, what, the, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um. But yeah, I found this really cool restaurant on TikTok and it's, they're known for their two for one, yeah, two for one martinis on every day of the week, I think. It's hard to like really go out here in New York because of the um, indoor dining being suspended until further notice. So it's kind of hard to find places to go and hard to do things it's like I'm, I literally just look up re outdoor restaurants with heating lamps because sure there's many restaurants that has outdoor seating but you want to sit in the cold not me I'm sorry I get cold very easily so I am not about that sitting in the cold life oh I have my eyebrows on I already have primer on so I'm just gonna move on now to like foundation and stuff but um but yeah anyway so i mentioned a little bit earlier about like manifestation it had me thinking so that's like a really trendy word now like everyone's talking about manifestation that they're they want to manifest a car they want to manifest you know different things in their life and it had me thinking about a conversation i had with one of my best friends and we were just talking about just 2020 and just how it was for everyone and you know what we want out of 2021 and you know she was mentioning to me that like she doesn't really understand or like what does it really mean to manifest and it, and it had me thinking like I wonder if we all if everyone is under the same understanding of what manifestation is and what it involves and you know whatever so I want to know below, like, how do you manifest? Like, how do you manifest something that you want? Or how are you currently manifesting? For me, at least, um, and this is what I was telling to tell my best friend. I was just like, for me, I feel like for me, manifestation is like talking to God. And, you know, um, like, I don't know if this is too invasive. Is this too invasive, Sean? Do you really want to open up like this? Because, <laughs> I don't know. All right, so, hmm. All right, so like for me, how I manifest personally speaking is I talk to God and this is something I always do. Like I've always been a person that like pray and talk to God and I don't think a lot of people know that about me, but actually I think my my close friends, I want to say two of my close friends really, really know that, you know, my relationship with God and like that I speak to God and you know, everyone should. Everyone should have a relationship with God. And I'm not talking about no fake relationship where you like post the memes about God, but you don't do your part. And I don't know. Uh, whatever. That's a different conversation. But um, so, yeah. So I was just saying, like, you know, I talk to God and I like I ask God to help me stay focused. So I ask God to help me with my determination ask God to help me um like 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 I want to like I ask God to help me do the work you know what I'm saying like it's one thing it's hard for me to explain um it's one thing to say okay yeah I want I want a, a fucking g-wag right it's it's one thing to say yeah I want a new car like I want a car like oh uh, you talk about a car every single day you pray god help you get a car um but if you're not putting the work in for the things that you are trying to manifest you're never gonna get it like manifestation don't work that way like praying to god to help you get something it don't and you're not putting in the work it doesn't work like that like life doesn't work like that you can't just say oh i want a red car i deserve a red car i'm a good person good people deserve good things to happen to them you have to like really put in the work and that's that's my take on manifestation is like 
having that relationship with God and telling God, like, you know, this is something I really want. I, you know, I want, you can't do anything without like God, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like I asked God to keep me, to keep me, um, to keep me motivated. I asked God to help me, help me grow as a person. Like I want to do the work, but I need your help, you know? Um, but yeah, so like just, I guess manifestation for me is like having a good relationship with God, talking to God, putting out in the universe the things that I want to achieve in my life and also putting in the work to get these things done. If that makes sense. I probably was just rambling. I hope peep someone understands what I'm trying to say um, as they're watching this video. But yeah, I mean, so like comment below. I kind of want to know like what does manifestation mean to you and how do you manifest if that makes sense i don't know i'm curious for me it's a i in a nutshell okay i i'm really rambling now but in a nutshell for me it's putting it in prayer and then also putting in the work putting in prayer and putting in the work like that yeah so that that's what manifestation mean to me and, and how I go about manifesting um because I just feel like it's a very trendy word and people just you know people on social media they just be anything anybody else is saying like they just run with it or anything that sound good they run with it without actually really knowing what the, what the hell they're talking about but yeah but yeah I had a good conversation with my friend about just life and what we both want out of life and you know it's great to have conversations like that with your friends honestly it's like sometimes you just need that little bit of motivation and then in, in in both ways like sometimes your friend needs that little bit of motivation so talking to you you can do your part in motivating her or him and vice versa like I know for sure sometimes I just like to talk about things and just get feedback from my friends and just get that kind of like that little push that you need you know like yeah and even like your significant other like i talk to my boyfriend about things like this and like what color is this what the fuck biscuit see this video would have been good as like a q and a i should have like posted on my instagram for people to ask me questions and do a q and a I've been debating a Q&A video for a minute now. I just don't know. I don't know. What if people don't ask me questions? <laughs> That'd be so embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but you know. I'd be like, damn, nobody want to get to know me. Nobody care about me. wow this is like best friend status right here this is a, so a really interesting it's not interesting but like a fact about me is that if you are going to be in my life like a friend boyfriend whatever like you have to be comfortable with silence like i i love silence i love silence like i could just if i could just hang out with you all day and we just be silent i'm okay with that like to obviously you're not crazy people so you could talk a little bit but you have to be comfortable with silence if you want to be around me because i really really value my silence i like to be just quiet sometimes <laughs> Anyways, you know when you could tell it's just not going to be a good makeup day? Like, not necessarily that it's going to be a terrible makeup day, but it's not. It's just not going to be your best. Yeah, I get that feeling too. Alright, yeah, my camera cut up. What's new? Of course my camera cut up. What else, what else, what else do y'all want to talk about? What else do you guys want to talk about? Oh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh! 
So guys, best friends, since, you know, we sat in silence together, we graduated to best friends. Um, I am a strongly considering getting my teeth done. I don't know why all of a sudden I want to get my teeth done. I don't know. It's just something about them big old horse teeth that I love. <laughs> it's something about those big horse teeth that just gets me. It just really, really gets me. I'm considering it. What do you guys think about Venera? Are you guys like judge people who get them done or like do any of my followers have veneers, have their teeth done? You wanna put me on to your experience? I am all ears, okay? But yeah, anyways, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think I will vlog that though. Like, I don't know. Like stuff like like anything pertaining to like shit like that is too invasive for me. I'm too like I'll, I'll mention it. Like I don't mind talking about shit, but I'm just I don't let people all the way in on that shit like that. Like no no no. I don't think I've ever used liquid brush before. My nose is so itchy. Sorry, I'm gonna have to itch my nose. I'm not digging it. I'm just itching it. All right, but. I want to try liquid brush. I think I want to try the, um, who was it? The, oh, Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty have like liquid blushes that I want to try. Oh, and I got a new lip gloss, guys. I can't wait to show y'all. So I saw a TikTok again, referencing TikTok. I saw a TikTok video where this girl, can I enter a clip? I don't know. Copyright? Will I get copyright if I enter somebody's TikTok clip into my video? We gonna try it anyways. But my lips look like this without any product on. I'm actually shocked. If you don't wanna pay for lip fillers, then get this. The brand is called Barry M. It's, I think it's like a UK brand. So we gonna try this today. And it looks so similar to my favorite lip gloss, which is the Buxa Mudslide. It's my favorite lip gloss. So the color is like so similar. And I, yeah, I think I'm gonna like it. So long, my god lashes. I'm gonna be wearing Savory Cosmetics. Oh my god. And this is the Salted Caramel Lash. So pretty. Applicator. <laughs> I, I'm just so unprepared. I really, I can't even lie, I really wasn't gonna record a video today. But I was just like, Siobhan, you've been talking about manifestation. You've been talking about this, you've been talking about that. And you know you gotta put the work in. So. Yeah, so my Sean, you've been talking about manifestation, you want this, you want that, and you sitting here not putting in the work? Are you crazy? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Anybody watch Love Island? <laughs> I used to be obsessed with Love Island. I washed my hair on Christmas. That was a few days ago. I hope my hair looks somewhat decent. Curl it. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. It looks shorter when it's curled. <laughs> Cause like, oh, I didn't, I haven't. Wow, I really haven't posted a video in mad long because you guys don't even see. You guys haven't seen my hair since my silk press. And I don't even think I posted about the silk press. Oh, I'm gonna enter some clips. Um, to see I got my hair done, so you can see the before, the after, and then you'll see my hair today. can't lie I think my hair grew I think it grew since two weeks ago oh I got that's that was a month ago Get these lashes or something I put them on wrong or something I don't know but I ain't taking them off so they staying on all right so I'm gonna line my lips at KKW lip liner that's right I'm gonna try it, it smells Smells like candy, like sour candy. Wow, this is a pretty color. Oh, it's burning. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Mm, it burns a lot. <clears throat> My God. I guess my hair is dirty. Why the itching? Whatever. Let me put. So the mango is sweet, so it makes the vodka less like intense. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, it's really Bitch. good. <laughs> I <laughs> always I order that in drinks. I swear. Mm, I'm gonna save the passion for last. <laughs> we go on another round before um, they tell us um, that we gotta go. <laughs> when they tell us we gotta go. <laughs> you don't want any? Yes, I'll try one. I don't really like. How do you use that sauce? First experience with calamari was really bad. What? And I went with um. I could tell that whatever oil they fried the calamari in was reused. Oh, and you know, it like, tastes nasty. It's just old oil. oil. Yeah. And it made me so sick. I threw up. Scarred. <laughs> I'm scarred for life. I just think it because it's crunchy. It has no flavor. But. It's a texture thing. You put lemon on it? Uh huh. Remember when you went all the way the chance just to try the creme brulee? You're a crackhead. What the fucking crackhead dude is that? Oh no, that's flan. Cause you, I, no, because you heard it in Lil Wayne lyrics and you're like, yeah. <laughs> you fucking heard Lil Wayne say it in the song. He was like, I'm gonna try creme brulee now. <laughs> Carmelo is mad good though. So that so was good. that was a good introduction. Thank you, Little Wayne, for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I saw a TikTok where you um, they showed you how to make flan in a cup in the microwave. I want to try it out. You whip oh, up the like egg. A, is it how they do the cake? Mm -hmm. The cake in a microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wondered how those would taste though. Like if they legit taste like. I mean, I would I would assume the flan doesn't taste bad because it's a custard. But like I cake, flan. cake. I don't like mushy cake. Oh my and gosh, I feel like coconut flan is so flan. Coconut flan. 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 <laughs> I'm saying it properly. Coconut flan. <laughs> it's so good. Coconut flan, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you ever count all your teeth and be like, damn, I'm missing teeth, bro? <laughs> I don't know how much teeth we're supposed to have. In 32. 32. Uh, one. No, but obviously you take out your wisdom teeth, right? Or if uh -huh. you did, I, yeah, I did. I got two of mine. And how many wisdom teeth do you get? Two? Four. Four. Well, I got them all out. Four of them. You took them out all at one time? Mm-hmm. You were the first person I ever knew that got all your wisdom teeth. <laughs> Sound like a crackhead, right? Some crackhead shit. We got no fucking teeth. Um, no, yeah. I just got them taken out all at one time. Fuck that shit. I remember you came to school right after, right? And my face was swollen. That's when we had Why did you street? Yo, I remember that. Why <laughs> didn't your parents let you stay home? No, I was I was out of school for a few days. <laughs> oh, but then I, kept, I I forgot who kept telling me, like, yo, it's mad shit going on. I'm like, yo, I want to go see what's going on. Mad nosy. Yo, and the day. <laughs> I'm going to be blanket out mad names this whole snatched out a whole I've seen that parole. Before. That's different. I swear. I was like, oh. oh wait, so what? She had like box braids or something? No, or? she had cornrows. So how she ripped it out the scalp? Yes. That's what I'm saying. That's the crazy. So it was missing. It was just clean. What did she do? She's like, oh, what do you mean what she did? She, she was crying? 
Nah, she was had the adrenaline going, so I don't think she felt it or really realized Damn. like how like. So I bet you mad like everybody like oh. Like, you know? It would happen in the cafeteria too. The I wouldn't come back to school after that. I'm transferring. If somebody rip out my whole braid, I'm fucking transferring, bro. And it wasn't even like she had small cornrows. They were like a good size. So that means a chunk of hair is missing. Damn. She might as well just shave that side and just do the half. You know, when Cassie that, had the half. That girl grip must have been crazy. He was fighting over a boy. A boy? I was like, listen, you need to fucking get me some hair and trains. I feel like I fought over the stupidest thing though. Like, not even like men. I just fought over just being like, oh my god, you think you're all that. Like, was that even me? No, sh shouldn't everyone feel like they're all of that? Right? What you want me to have poor self esteem? Oh my gosh, yo, high school is crazy. Like, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm muting a lot of this shit, okay? Um. <laughs> I want to be that type of person to be like, oh, people are jealous of me. Oh my God, people are jealous of my friends. But that really be the Tito. Uh, yeah. It really is though. That's really what, people just don't, I, I feel like people choose to, like they want a reason to dislike you for no reason. I think it's just also like, I feel like I've witnessed that so many times. Like you just want a reason to dislike me. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a very, quiet person in general so if you don't like me you are just a hater <laughs> like i don't know what to say like what, what i don't know i just think that people just want to find a reason to like mess up your face I, that's just that's just what i i always view it as like <laughs> okay like i think i'm all that so you want to fight me because you want to like mess up my face or something or like <laughs> no to mess up my face like no seriously like you want to rip out my braid <laughs> You gonna knock out my tooth, right? <laughs> Whole tooth missing. Mm -mm. I'm not with it. See, I'm so hungry. Where's the food? Could you imagine seeing a brolic ass chicken in person? I'm out, nigga. Them just probably look so scary. Oh my god, I didn't realize we didn't chairs. And I'm almost Damn, done. Damn, thirsty bitch. <laughs> thirsty ass throat. <laughs> Which one are you drinking? The, um, the mango. Damn, I thought you said you were saving the one for last. Change your mind. Saving the passion for the one for last. It's fancy. Oh. Damn, thirsty. I have an excuse because I'm driving, so mm -hmm. we could have been walking. That would have been an excuse. First of all, y'all bitch's tolerance is just fucking crazy. Huh? Now, I'm taking a break from drinking after today. I swear. You've been drinking other days. Like you don't mm -hmm. even go nowhere. Where do you go? Um. So um, on. You know what? I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Let's put some Migos in there. Let's put some Casamigos in there. Oh my God, so we add Casamigos to the Riesling. And she's like, yo, spark up the hookah. I'm like, oh, I actually want some hookah. Cause you know I have all the hookah with the, yeah. um, shisha without um, tobacco. But yeah. I actually found shisha with tobacco. So I sparked up the hookah. With tobacco? Yes. So we had the fucking Casamigos with the Riesling. And yo, I felt like we were Did in the club. Did you have a hangover? She threw up. You know, Jesus. Did you have though. a hangover? Slightly. I have a next day too. No, no, no. I slightly had a hangover, but I had work, so I had to go to work. But Jamisa threw up um, before she got on the plane and threw up on the plane. Yo, that's Yo, the worst thing we, we felt like we were in the club, bro. Like, we were dancing. We had the music blasting on our phones. Was it Granny, like, knocking on the fucking. Nah, nah, surprisingly not. Yo, we kept having to use the bathroom. I really felt like I was in the club. You know, you got a POD yeah. when you're partying. I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Posing music, so I run, use the bathroom, run back out. She's like, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> she wrote, oh my god, yo, we had we had mad fun. That's good. Surprisingly, yo, just being honestly, home. like, why do we always do that? We always get like champagne, like we would get like some moet, and then we would just fucking add henny to it. Yeah, I know. That's the worst, yo. Every time I have the worst hangover is from adding additional alcohol. Like, why? Uh, butter. Ew. What do you mean ill? Oh, because you like the guava and cheese um, patties. Guava right? and cheese. Oh, empanada from you. Well, I've been cheese tastes so good. Have you ever tried it? I don't you know. like anything sweet. I don't know why you're saying ill. I don't know. 
That's so tough. That should look mad tough when you was cutting into it. Damn, I'm not looking forward to this fucking second martini already, bro. I just want to show y'all our food. I have lasagna. Oh, you have lasagna too. Mm hmm We have the truffle fries. Yes, yes, fries. What? Get out of here. And then we got some bread. <laughs> I'm working on my second drink. I mean, just ordered. I'm on my first. I'm not there, so I'm about to get lit. Oh, I'm going to show you guys this little cabin that we're in. It's really cute. So. Damn, drunkie. <laughs> All right, love. Which one was the one that you said you wanted? She it's wanted a mango. 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 Yeah. Okay, right. Thank you. Don't call me love. <laughs> Ow. Damn, drunkie. <laughs> but it's like a really. Hold on, let me. Um, nah, this looks so fucking good. It's really cute. I love it's just like a little personal cabin. It's mad warm in here. And all our food. And then, yeah, it's really cute. This, listen, this is what it is in living in New York. Every other state don't care about they, they citizens. <laughs> okay, Cuomo care about us. So, Cuomo, Cuomo, you do his job. So yeah, so we're eating now. I just want to show you guys our food. So, all right, bye. Stay just on camera. I'm gonna cut it out. I just want to get my reaction. But this is crazy to see a psychiatrist because it's not normal behavior. No, I mean, honestly, it's just funny hearing stuff like that. So I'm not good at interior decorating at, at all. I think you're just not. So I was curious. I don't think I am. So I, if you're good at like, dressing, you should be good at interior design. No, I think that's two different things. I don't think so. I think it is two different things. I'm trying to get some footage, motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. That was weird. Weird vibes, weird vibes. All these stores on Fifth Ave look so cute. No, because Bulgari, they're known. It's got like a patch right there. Oh no, that's. I'm drunk because that's definitely the fucking smoke that's coming out that shit that I thought was you a smudge a on your. I thought it was a piece of smudge, like a smudge on your they're fucking drunky. window. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Bye, coach. <laughs> Could you imagine having the job to like put the lights on these actual trees though? Like, your job sucks. Cute. All right, well, I'm gonna say bye. Oh, I'm so close up. How do you close, how do you back out? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say bye, good night to this vlog. Get ready with me vlog. Yeah, it's time to go home and go to sleep. All right, bye guys.